type. So you've got a good level of English, but has it ever happened to you that you know the adjective, but what you really want to use is a noun? And this can particularly happen with abstract nouns. And it can add to your feeling of useless, useless... Uselessness. Thanks, Tim. So he added a suffix. Yeah, so I took the adjective useless, added ness to make the noun uselessness. OK, and this is quite a common one. So, for example, we can say happy or happiness. Mm -hmm. Another common one is itty. So, we could say something is probable or there is a high probability. Or another one we've got is uri. So, if you are brave, you show lots of bravery. Yes, you do. Um, but, however, there are some that don't actually follow these rules, but the suffix is a th. Yeah? So, for example, we've got the adjective long becomes the noun length. The adjective strong becomes strength. And the adjective wide becomes width. OK. So, Tim's writing his CV. Mm, really? Why? Well, just so imagine. something you don't, I don't know? No, don't worry about it. Okay. We're just going to imagine Tim's writing his CV. Um, and we're going to change some adjectives into nouns. OK, so we're going to say, Tim's very open-minded. Mm. Open-mindedness. Yes. Tim's very intelligent. Mm, intelligence? Yeah. Tim's very flexible. Flexi flexibility. Flexibility. Tim's very warm. Warmth. Yes. Tim's very boring. No, I'm not. <laughs> but what's the noun? OK, boredom. Boredom. OK, so there we go. So we added lots of different suffixes to lots of different adjectives to create nouns. Mm -hmm. What's the next tip we're going to do? Next the week. next tip we're going to do is nouns from verbs. OK. Fantastic. OK, see you then. Bye.